Hey there, budgeters. This is Marcy of Warrell with Warrell Creations. I am back with another video. Today, I just want to quickly showcase one of my savings binders. Now, I've mentioned this binder before in a couple of previous videos, um, and I finally wanted to make sure I showed what it looks like because a couple of people have private messaged me and asked. And so this is my, what I call my Yellowstone binder. Now, of course, it has no affiliation at all with Yellowstone. I am just a super fan of the show. And so when I was creating some of my more tailored binders where I actually have a theme to a couple of them, I made sure that I created one just for me for this. Now, none of the items you see are available to purchase, at least not to my knowledge. I, I of course, didn't create any to purchase. Um, these are all things I made for my own personal use just in my binder, and that's it. Um, and so they are functional, and they work for me, and they are super cute, and they help me save money. Now, this, of course, is a new binder um, that I started this year in January, so this is not one I had previous. Um, so there's not very much money in it because I just started in January but the plan is to use it all year long. So you'll see um, I do have one of the um, binders that I love the most. It's just a solid black one. I have several different colors. Um, I have pink and I have black and I have teal and I have purple and I have uh, red and you know and then I have a couple of clear binders too. So in all because I get this question a lot people ask me how many binders do I have? I honestly have 13 binders. Now, I know you're thinking, okay, well, some of you may be thinking that is way too many. And then others may be like, oh yeah, somebody like me, right? So the reason I have so many is because I have them categorized very, very uh, intentional about what's in each one. Like for instance, I have two binders, my everyday essential binders, and I've showed those before in a video. Um, they look like this, of course, and these two everyday and um, essential binders. What I do is I have one that has all of of the like everyday shopping type things and of course like groceries and anything related to food okay then the other one is things like um, pet care pet maintenance like that kind of car maintenance that kind of stuff um, pet emergencies and just making sure that I have a way to keep it categorized separately from everything else but it's things that I add to almost every single paycheck right um, and whereas some things I only add to every now and then depending upon what's going on so the binder for what I call my Yellowstone binder, this will be one that I add to just about every single paycheck, um, even though the total amounts for each item you'll notice isn't very big for each month that I have. But I thought it would be a great fun way for me to be able to showcase, like I said, one of my favorite shows and also save some money. So. Um, again, it's in one of these black binders. It is a magnet. Um, I do prefer the ones that have snaps, and I do have some that have snaps, but because this one doesn't have that many envelopes, it only has 12 and what I call a title page, um, I can fit these in here with no problem. Whereas some of my other, other binders that have tons of stuff, I need that, um, that actual snap, okay? So let me go ahead and unveil it. Um, again, these are all things that I created myself just using uh, Canva and graphics that I found online and, you know, playing around with it a little bit. Um, and I just, for me, it was a super fun way to be able to do that. So, of course, this is my title page. Um, and you'll see that I have two of my favorite characters and, of course, the Yellowstone emblem. And you'll see it says a year of savings with Yellowstone. So think of it almost like a calendar, if you will, because I created one separate um, graphic picture for each month. So here, of course, is January. And it has them on the horses. And you'll see I have the dollar amounts. And this one only totals up to $35. Okay, I wanted to keep it doable with all of the other challenges I do. Um, where, yes, I would still save a little bit of money. But then, of course, I have, um, you know, something additional to save for. And like I said, something fun. So this is January. February, since it's Valentine's Day, I put the lovebirds. And this one saves $27 for the month. And you'll notice I did the numbers in ones and fours. Then March, all by himself, is $30 with the numbers here. April is all about Beth, and it's $25 for all the items here. Then I have May that has a rip, which is probably my favorite character, and this one's $40, which is also my birthday month. Um, so I put him as my favorite character. June is $54. And you'll see there that one. And I did a little fun. I made them all $6 since uh, that's the sixth month of the year. July. He's also by himself, but on the porch. 
And that one I did four is for the 4th of July, just $4. And this one's $36 when it's, we save. August is $29. And he's out in the woods. September is Beth again, and she's $30 when I save all the money there. And one thing I want to note, these are um, actual envelopes. You'll see I made these. Um, and these are made from 3ml laminating sheets and... Th um, 5 ml, um, 5 mil, sorry, not ml, ml. So 3 mil and 5 mil. And I use my personal laminator. I created these on, um, I think these I actually did on cardstock. Sometimes I use white cardstock. Sometimes I use um, just white paper. It just depends on what's going on. Um, so these, of course, I created and then I hole punched uh, the bottoms and put them on there. And one of these days I am going to shoot a video for that. I actually had just a handful of people that did message me and say, Hey, can you do a how to video? Um, and I wasn't originally going to do one cause I felt like there were so many already out there. Um, but I did have a couple people ask and they specifically wanted to see like what products I use. Um, so I am going to put one of those together. Fingers crossed. Um, it won't be this weekend because I actually have to go out of town for work, but it will probably be next weekend. Um, and the goal is to try to get that done so you can see it. Um, here's October and October is $26. And if I was thinking, I probably would have done like threes and ones and made it total 31 somehow, but I kind of kept it simple. November is $38. And then lastly is December, and that's Rip again uh, with $33. So again, these are all envelopes that I made using the laminating, oops, laminating. Um, so, you know, they work just fine. January obviously already has some funds in there and a budget tracker sheet so I can keep track of how much is in there. Um, I haven't decided for certain what I'm going to do with this money at the end of the year. Um, I entertain the idea of using this to either one, help with Christmas, or two, to save it to try to help with a plane ticket for my daughter, to, one of my daughters to come see us for Christmas. So I'm not certain, um, I, I haven't decided just yet. <laughs> but the idea is I wanna save, and regardless of what I'm going to do with it, the goal is to save it, right? Um, so, you know, it should be fun, like I said. I, I really like Yellowstone, so it was something cute and innovative for me to make. Um, you know, and again, it's just an A6 binder, nothing super fancy. Um, but it was a great way for me to have a little bit of fun um, and put this all together. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, you know, you can do this with most anything. I do have other binders, and I'll probably showcase those as well. I have one that has Care Bears. Um, that's actually my Halloween binder. And my Halloween binder is all Care Bears, like, on the, the pages for each category. And when most people think Halloween, they automatically think, like, either candy or costumes. But believe it or not, I have a folder for decor, one for candy, one for the kids' costumes, one for pizza for dinner that night so I don't have to cook. Um, one for other little treats and that kind of stuff. So, you know, you know, I try to make my binders in different categories, like I said, to help me save and to keep it fun. Um, so this was just one of those ways for me to do that. Um, so again, um, at some point, preferably in the next uh, two weeks or so, I will record a video on how I make these. I, I have to make a few more um, little envelopes. And so I'm actually going to, I saved those, uh, not for Yellowstone, but for some other stuff. I saved those so that I could create a video. Um, and kind of showcase that to you. So um, hopefully you would, you know, thought this was cute and you'd enjoy it as much as I would. Um, but if it's something that, you know, you've ever thought about making your own, it is a really cute way um, just to keep things light and fun. Um, and you can really put anything on here. I, I've got some that have Garfield. I've got some that have Hello Kitty. You know, just any graphics that I found cute in my collection. Um, kind of the same stuff that I would put on like a screensaver on my computer is kind of the same stuff that I, I put in um, into the binders. I um, mean, not all of them have characters like that. Many of them are just the tracker and, you know, how much I'm saving for it or whatever it is. It just really depends on what the item is. Um, but this was one of those that I really had some fun with. Um, you know, and I think I'll enjoy it quite a bit. Um, and like I said, at the end of the year, I, I haven't decided for certain what I'm going to use that money for, but I think it's going to end up being a plane ticket. So, all right. So hopefully you liked it and I'm happy to share it with you and any other things that I create. Um, do look for the video in the near future about my Halloween binder. I'd like to show that. Um, and also my Disney binder. My Disney binder is also going to be a separate video. And that one I made a little different. It's not paper. Um, inside of the laminating like these are. Those are made a little different. So again, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.